Now I've got the ECM spy cable plugged in. We're gonna connect to the software, which requires us, we're gonna put the key on. Let the speedo sweep. The kill switch on, prime the fuel pump. We're just gonna go click on the keys here. Oh, it looks like we're connected. I got this blue bar at the bottom. Just gonna blip the throttle just to ensure that we're connected. So you can see right here, I move the throttle. This is reading. So that's good. So now that we're connected, simply click on the tab here that says trouble codes. Pops up, says byte one, two, three, four, five, zero, 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 zero. No codes present. But that's right this second. So we want to hit read. Read is going to look for code stored in the memory. And they pop up on the bottom here. It says byte one. Ten. Bit four, trouble code 13. O2 sensor inactive or open. Okay. Byte 2. 80. Bit 7. Trouble code 15. Intake. Air sensor shorted to supply voltage or open. Uh, all those byte 1, byte 2, all this, this is not really for us to be concerned with. But it's telling us we either got an open circuit on our O2 sensor, it detected at some point and a shorted or open intake air sensor. So, this tells us which direction to look in, diagnosing the bike. The only thing left is to simply click on the keys here to disconnect the bike. And then exit the software Now I didn't clear the codes, you could just simply hit the clear button which is right next to the read button uh, because I'm not done with this diagnosis, just making a little video to check the trouble codes.